morning adventures. We are in Paris, France. We are staying up in the 18th district or arrondissement. Um, and we are gonna go try to find some really good views of Paris today. So it turns out this neighborhood we're in, it's called Belleville, um, has one of the best views at a park that's just actually right over there. So we're gonna go first get some coffee and then go check it out. We've been going to this place called Cream that's just next to our apartment and they have the most amazing lattes. They're so good. <laughs> They're so They're delicious. They're très petite, but yeah, delicious. But we just stepped into a bakery. We're gonna get a couple quiches to go. They're actually heating up right now. There are a ton of little kitties roaming around here. Look at this little cutie just staring at us. Come on down here, say hi. Do you speak French? We're trying to figure out what this structure is. Looks kind of run down. There's like a bunch of like stadium seating over here. So it's a bit hazy out today, but still a magnificent view. We can almost see the Eiffel Tower over there. Almost. Found ourselves a green boob. There you go. You know, the view is nice, but all this graffiti and this weird tile work and stuff makes it really cool. That's pretty sweet. So that's the first view down. And make sure you guys stick around because we've kind of organized this to where the views are going to get better and better as we make our way through the city. And of course, we're going to put all the places that we're visiting in the description yes. below. So that you can go there and see all the beautiful views as well. So next up, we're checking out Parc des Buttes Chaumont or something like that. <laughs> I think you nailed it. Made it to the top. We got this badass little structure up here. Let's go check this view out. Austin's just going for the thumbnail shot. Nice job, kid. Don't die, please. You guys, when I was getting that time lapse back there, I do this thing where I set the lens on my phone to kind of prop it up, and I left the phone there, and then we're walking down here, and I'm like, oh shit, I don't have my phone. <laughs> so I ran up there and it was gone. <laughs> I just kind of yelled out some random phrase in French that must have sounded so stupid. I think I said, I forgot my phone, maybe. I don't know, <laughs> but they all looked very confused. But apparently they knew what I was saying, because the guy handed me my phone up. It took him a couple minutes though. I think he was trying to decide if he wanted to take it or not. <laughs> also, we found this awesome suspension bridge. It's really cool because when people are moving on it, it like shakes really? and it's kind of scary. It's like a big trampoline. <laughs> All right, on to the next view. We're gonna check out Sacre Coeur, which is this huge church on a hill. I actually got a shot of it back there, so you guys have already seen it. But we're gonna take the metro over there and it's gonna be an even sicker view than this one, I think. This is one magnificent church right here. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Amazing. It's friggin' sweet. <laughs> so we're gonna scale our way up to the top. Are we gonna go inside the church? Maybe. You, I think you have to pay a little bit, but we, it says it's variable. So if it's not too much, we may take you guys up there. 
So this church is just over 100 years old. It was finished in like 1914. I think they started building it in like 1845. 1875. 1875. So we've decided not to go up in the dome because it costs six euros and I think that's well worth it but we really want to go to the Arc de Triomphe. We want to do at least like one really touristy view. And we've been up there before in the view. We got to show it to you guys. It's, it's freaking spectacular. So, but, but yeah, if you want to get a view for less than the Arc de Triomphe, come here, yeah. only six euros. So this is a great backup plan. But the view at the Arc de Triomphe cost, uh, how much is it? 12? Like $12. So if we only wanted to pay for one view today, but I think it's free to go in the church. So we're going to go check that out. So the church is definitely worth checking out. The inside was absolutely beautiful. But now we're gonna hop back on the metro and we're gonna head to the Arc de Triomphe. Found it. There it is. We gonna go up there. church on the hill over there that's where we just were the view from up here is totally worth the 12 euros to get up here because everything in the town is so flat that you can just literally see for miles miles and miles in any direction it can be kind of challenging to get a good photo up here because they put these like spiky guardrails but I can see why they have them here <laughs> <laughs> yeah safety first I guess yeah <laughs> We have officially conquered Le Arc de Triomphe. Now, time to eat. This little boy's getting hungry. Getting hungry. Time to eat. Let's do it. Found ourselves a little petite cafe. Got myself a little sandwich. Needed some more coffee energy for sure. <laughs> and a gigantic, delicious looking croissant. Look at that thing. It's like glistening in the sun. <laughs> it's amazing. It's gonna be beautiful. So we've decided to do one more touristy view on our way back to our Airbnb. This is the uh, Jardin de Trocadero, and it's a uh, pretty much the best spot in the city to get like a nice center epic view of the Eiffel Tower. You can get some sick photos from here, but be prepared because everyone and their mom knows about this spot and they are all trying to get their, the same photos. <laughs>
day, guys. Am I right? That was pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us, exploring the amazing views of Paris. I know some of them were a little tour touristy, but they're worth doing at least once. I think it's one of those types of things, like the view of the Empire State Building. We knew it was gonna be too expensive and have a lot of people there, but I think it's worth doing. But anyway, we took a quick stop at the store, got some uh, provisions, and I think we're going to make a little dinner, get some work done. It's Friday evening, but we're gonna have kind of a chill night because we've been kind of going hard the rest of the few nights. Not really going too hard, but we've been kind of, you know, hitting the staying sauce up late. a little. <laughs> and staying up until hitting too late. the sauce a little. <laughs> We've been getting like a bottle of wine every night because it's we're in Paris. Yeah, because we're in Paris, so every night we come home with a baguette, some cheese, and some wine. <laughs> yeah. So tonight we got the baguette, but no wine. Yeah. But at any rate, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And if you have some of your favorite view spots here in Paris that we weren't able to hit today, let us know in the comments below so other people can maybe check them out or we can check them out during our stay here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're leaving here. Good night, adventurers. See you on the road.